I have tons and tons of different delivery styles. So what about if we try this? What if I give you two delivery style choices and you all vote? How's that sound? <laughs> Choice number one. I too have an unbelievable PowerPoint presentation. <laughs> then I will hand out little workbooks and you can fill in all the spaces. And then, here's the best part, I'm going to put you into little groups of five. How many of you vote for choice number two before you even hear it? Oh. All right, choice number two, I am a comedian and I'm a therapist. How about if we do 45 minutes of comedy and therapy? So, how many of you could use a little comedy right now in your life? How many of you are sitting in a row with someone that could use a little therapy? <laughs> if there's any sound bite you're going to take away from me is business as usual is over. It takes courage to be successful. We got to be willing to lay ourselves out there, be brave, take risks, and do the right thing. Leadership has nothing to do with a title, nothing to do with a diploma, nothing to do with a, a label. Leadership means that you understand that you are influencing someone, a child, a coworker, a peer, someone in the grocery store. You are influencing someone every time you are in the presence of another human being. Has anyone in this room, since I have been talking, tweeted about me or anything I've said. Okay, great. I love it. Was it good? Okay, what did you do? You text me? I text, text messaged my team. And told what did you tell? I just told them I figured them all out. Okay. <laughs> How many people are on your Twitter account? 240. How many of you else tweeted in here? Any of you have over 1,000? How many do you have on your Twitter account? 1,700. There is no PR as good as that. <laughs> Sales isn't about necessarily selling a product. Sales is about selling ideas. Sales is about selling yourself. I do about five radio interviews a, a week, and the number one question and call in I get is, how do I keep my job? And I say, because you better sell yourself. Nobody better be more proud, more assured that you have an absolute attachment to the bottom line of your company, that you validate what you are, that you bring value to this. If I were to walk up to any of you, CEO of your company or your business, and say, why should we keep you? You better have a 30-second answer that comes out of your mouth like that. heard other people that you work with complain. And here are the top complaints. Listen to this. It's amazing. Employee complaint number one. Honey, you won't believe how hard we work. Work, work, work. My company expects that I work from the moment I walk into the building <laughs> until the moment I leave. <laughs> Duh. That's why they call it Sometimes people will email me and they say, Connie, if you had to give me one secret to success, what would it be? Mine has simply been this. I figured out what I could do really good, and I figured out what I can't do at all, and I go after the first, and I avoid the second. And sometimes people say, well, Connie, isn't the journey about learning and finding? I don't have time for that. Character. The definition of character is not how you and I act when life is going good. That's easy. Who we are, who we really are, the essence of ourselves as a person, that is how you and I choose to behave 
when our life is so far from what we had planned that we can barely breathe. Character is how we choose to act when we're tired or angry, stressed, jealous, upset, in the middle of a crisis. That's when our kids watch us. That's when our employees watch us. That's when our customers watch us. How many of you in here are married, have been married, or wish you weren't married? <laughs> Do you know that almost every couple, we have a verbal and a nonverbal, and generally the verbal is which one? Woman. Most men, you talk between three and 4,000 words a day, and a good day, women, we talk between 10 and 12,000, which is why when you guys get home and your 3,000 are gone, we have 9,000 left. <laughs> we have all these material possessions, and then we have relationships. And those two words, want and need, are exactly the opposite for each of those areas of our life. When it comes to material possessions, we need to focus on what we need and not so much on what we want. Relationships should be about choice. What do you want for your life? I would put it to you that happiness is not a given. I would put it to you that happiness is a fight, it's a struggle, it's a choice every day. Every day I wake up, I choose to be happy rather than sad. Every day I wake up, I choose to be jubilant. Every day I wake up, I choose to be optimistic rather than pessimistic. And things keep happening that get in my way, and I have to keep recommitting to that choice. Because if you believe you deserve happiness, you won't fight for it. Go find a job whether you like it or you don't, whether you love it or not, whether you have a passion for it or not, but have a passion for doing one thing, doing it right, doing it well, doing it good, and learning every single thing you can. Because the things that we do that we don't like are probably gonna determine more what we finally end up doing that we love than almost anything else in the world. Balancing home and career. It's not about time, ladies and gentlemen. It's not about time. It's about self-respect. It's about identity. When I am on stage at work right now, I feel respected. I feel good. I feel smart. I feel proud. But I tell you what, when I go home at the end of a day and I walk into my own house, I have those same exact feelings. I feel respected as a mom, as a wife, as a friend, as a grandmother. I feel proud. I feel all the same things. Balancing home and career is not about hours. It's about how you feel in each of the areas of your life. The day that you can answer yes to two questions, are you really proud of your professional choices? And at the end of the day, are you really proud of your personal choices? The day you can answer yes to those two questions, there will not be a richer person in the world than you.